Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and I welcome you to part 14 of Let's Play The Last Promise! And it's obviously time for an interlude. That's interesting. So I'm guessing uh, I did predict correctly, and uh, we're going into some sort of uh, shift, in, uh, shift in story or something. Oh, it's the Magnion Palace! I've returned! Howard has successfully captured the rebels! Oh, oh, so he's proven himself useful once again! Even if he's not very strong, he's still smart. And take it as you will, but Count Pelinor was killed. We'll have to keep someone else in charge of Yulia now. <laughs> and no matter. I shall make arrangements for someone myself. The other Imperial Generals have already been charted off to the islands. Why don't you join them? You need a break, after all. If that's your wish, then I shall oblige. Good, good. After one month, we shall resume our plans to dominate Blaine. As for Athea, I wouldn't worry about it anymore. Now that the rebels have stirred up trouble there and have been defeated, this war shall soon be over, and peace shall finally reign. Yes, indeed. Do you hear that, Salisa? Soon we'll have our Utopia. Oh, snap. And here we are at Blaine's castle. Your Majesty, the preparations have been made. We are ready to engage the foe on the plateau to the northwest. Gorda! Hold off the enemy as, as you can, and minimize casualties. Don't take any unnecessary risks, during General Shane. As you wish. Well, they're green, so they're obviously friends. What? What's going on here? Okay, Corbin, loyal cavalier. Corbin follows his friends and is trapped alongside them. Not once has he regretted his choice to help Siegfried and Sean rather than save his own skin. Sean! His father's son. Well, that is very perceptive. Sean was captured by Magnus and imprisoned in Yulia with his father. This new experience proves to be Sean's most trying tribulation yet. Inanna! Soaring mercenary! Inanna's loyalty stood strong as she was captured by Magnus. Imprisoned in Yulia, Inanna longs for the return of her dear Pegasus. Shuda! Arrogant swordsman. That's a funny title. Shooter was captured during the last battle. He put up a long fight, but in the end, couldn't go on forever. His cell was on filled with foul words and moans of hunger. Kevin, the Silent Knights. Kevin left to convey the message about this, their situation to Anakin. Siegfried trusted Kevin with a task best suited to one as quiet yet skilled as himself. Tamiko, thoughtful healer. Tamiko left after the initial capture of Yulia. Although her whereabouts are unknown, she is likely nearby, waiting for the chance to rejoin her captured comrades at Yulia. Arthur, valiant monk who we never used. Arthur just barely escaped the final battle. He joined with Chief Haas to retreat back to Athea, though he hopes to use his magic on the front lines once more. Storm, the special bowman. Yeah, he's very special. He died. Injured and depressed by his own weakness, Sean Storm wanders off alone. He eventually rejoins Chief Haas once his body and confidence are restored. Alpharus, the enigmatic thief. Alpharus vanishes after the battle at Yulia. It's possible he is returned to his group, the legend mercenaries. Alright, oh, actually we, we will get Sh Storm back now, that's kinda cool. CIA, eccentric mage. CIA scattered with the other rebels after the collusion with Howard. Her whereabouts remain unknown. Haas, the noble chief. Haas leads Kevin and his group in the escape of Yulia. After the group scatters, he returns to Athea, waiting for his chance to once again strike back at Magnus' empire. What now? Siegfried, rebellious knights. Siegfried was captured by the Magnin army and imprisoned in Yulia with his son. While isolated in the cell, he continues to keep, in, to keep a hope in the rest of his comrades scattered throughout the continent of Solum. This music is a little bit too happy. I feel like it's kind of a depressing mood right now. We should have picked something else, to be quite honest. Here ends part one of The Last Promise. Would you like to save your progress? No, because I'm a rebel. As of chapter 11, the second part of the game will begin. After Siegfried saved Anakin in his chapter 8, the young speaker was sent to Regalia to the southeast. Kellic, leader of his own mercenary group, is rebelling against Magnus on a smaller and more discreet scale. You will now lead these characters in a series- Oh my god, is Kellic gonna become a main character? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I was gonna kill that guy. Bah, damn you, game. 
You will now lead these characters in a series of battle and slowly regain characters from your army. Non-major characters or defeated will now die on the battlefield and be lost forever, so be careful. It's also highly recommended you pay close attention to the story if you don't want to miss out on various hints related to the gameplay and story elements. This includes protection, protecting certain characters from harm and side quests that may help you obtain hidden secrets, like characters, items, or plot details. There will be many tough challenges ahead and you may need as much help as you can get if you want to overcome them. With that being said, may you find good fortune and easy victories ahead. Wow, so it's kind of hinting that the game is going to be tough. Okay. I like that. Chapter 11, Scattered Remains. Or Shattered Remains. Oh, we're all good and happy, yay. And it's Anakin, and he's sleeping as usual. <laughs> Sir Anakin? Uh, huh? Good, you're awake. Oh, no, I am. Oh, I am. Sorry about that. I'm Kevin, a soldier working under Commander Siegfried. Ah, oh, one of Siegfried's soldiers. And the Allied soldiers are good news. Those Magnus are on our tail. Well, Anakin, I bring news from the Julian front. Oh, that's right. Has uh, Siegfried seized Julian? He did. But after he conquered the castle and killed Count Pelennor, the Magnan army showed up led by General Howard himself. He sent me to find you and help you on your mission. I don't know how long you can hold out at you how long he can hold out at Yulia. How goes the recruiting? Well, with you, we add one more to our ranks. Good. How many does that make? Four, including the original trio who set us here. Uh it's not nearly enough to go and help Siegfried at Yulia. Yeah, recruitment is slow. Minus us patrols going around preventing us from doing anything. And the people here are too fearful to rise up on their own. Where's Eduardo? He's off at the village trying to recruit more to our cause. But if I wasn't able to, I doubt he'll have any better luck. Why aren't you out there yourself? Well, I was. Then I got tired and... Alright. So in other words, you kind of suck, Anakin. Hey, look, it's Ace. Last! Those damn Magnan soldiers are seriously out to get us. How many are there? Maybe a dozen, give or take a couple. It might be in our best interest to escape and come back later. Well, there's not much we can do. But you can't run and hide forever. I say we just confront them head on. I mean, Darth Minus would just let us escape so easily anyway. I say with Kevin on board, we might be able to take him. There isn't enough time to retreat, even if you had decided to. They've already surrounded us with their forces. Yeah, man. Where is Eduardo? Dude, there's no way in hell I'd know what the, that guy's up to. You'll just have to catch up. Alright! Got some new music. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> my god, that's such a pretty music. Alright, we're gonna turn on the battle animations here. Not for Anakin, though. Okay, so we got Ace. Why is he level 1? And why is his speed only H? I remember leveling him up. In the last story, why has he not retained his stance? Anakin is level 1 as well? Hey, these aren't the characters I leveled up. Why don't they retain their stats? I even gave Ace a fucking speed wings. Yeah, that is kind of disappointing, actually. Kind of feels like all I did in the last story was for naught. Oh well, nothing I can do about that right now. Let's just go kill these guys. Oh, really? You're gonna have one hit point left? Uh, we should probably take a look at the map, although this seems like kind of a reset, because we're all level 1 again and stuff. Uh, we have a Talon right here. A generic spear. Really? A generic spear. Oh my god. Well, he sounds like a good, cool guy. Talon Kindane, a small-time soldier known for his strict adherence to the Knight's Code. Okay, so he's gonna die. Uh, got anything special going on here? Nah, seems like we got mostly Iron Axes and generic stuff sending our way. Well, I could always just motivate him. Don't give up yet. Don't give up yet, man. Oh well. I'm guessing we'll have to go over to that uh, village to get to Duardo, so we should probably just do that right now. So how's... I remember Kevin. I actually leveled him up pretty... Uh, actually a lot. Wow, he's actually pretty good. Wow, okay, cool. Well, he's actually level 8, so he's actually out-leveling these guys pretty heavily. Man, I must say, I'm playing Awakening at the moment, and I'm playing it on hard difficulty, and wow, does the game get hard after a while. That game is really... Okay, never 
mind enough about awakening. Commander, the resistant fighters are retaliating. What are your orders? Answer their attack. Move forward. Our forces outnumber their own. Yes, sir. Wait there. Who is their leader? Uh, their leader appears to be a common spokesman. Someone to gain support for their foolish cause. It's doubtful he even has any basic military training. On your leave. He must be leading a battle. What kind of power must he have? Wait, come back here, soldier. Yes, sir. I have new orders. If any of our enemies are to surrender, spare their lives and capture them. We are to follow the proper code of conduct at Mash Magnum Knights. Of course, Commander. Yet if they resist, are we allowed to kill? Yes. However, if any prisoners will be treated with the utmost respect. It is a basic rule of war to treat prisoners like we would allies. Yes, sir. <laughs> what an imbecile. I mean, even we grunts can see through the idiocy. Morals, respect... I don't see any point in those lies. Well... What the commander doesn't know doesn't hurt. You asshole, soldier. Hmm. Wow, Kevin is seriously overpowered compared to these guys. I'm guessing I should make an attempt to, uh, to level the other two guys. Which doesn't seem really difficult. Wow, we're kicking these guys' asses. Holy shit. Bum -ba -dum -ba -bum -bum -bum. Oh, what's going Oh, hello, Eduardo. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on. Man, we finally decided to fight these guys. And all, you do in and all of you don't even wait for me. I mean, Regal is my homeland. I'll be the one to protect it. Yeah. I felt that way suited him nicely. All right, we got a vendor, but we got zero cash to spend. So we do, however, have houses to visit. Welcome to our humble abode. Life has become harsh. The Magnian soldiers are so brutal. If there is one exception, I exceptionally say it's their leader. Though he controls Regalia, he attempts to help us. Please do not strike him down. Even Magnian knights can have some honor. Wouldn't it go against the vows of your cause to bring death to one that doesn't deserve it? I don't mean to preach you, but not all Magnians are bad. Some are just unfortunate, kind of like us. Okay, so is there some way I can not kill this guy? That sounds helpful. What the hell is this shit? <laughs> Made for helpless idiots. Well, Eduardo kind of sounds like a helpless idiot, so I'm guessing that... Oh, I forgot to turn on his animations. What? It's a Brave Lance? You gotta be joking me. Seriously? Yeah, that's a fucking Brave Lance right there. That is pretty overpowered to give me a bra Brave Lance at this level, although maybe it has less stats than the Brave Lance. Wow, a Brave Lance. Seriously. Okay, well, I ain't complaining. Actually, I am. Shouldn't give me a Brave Lance at this level. Don't give up yet. I won't, friend. Alright, Ace is seriously kicking these guys' butts. He's getting a lot of experience, too. Hit points and speed. Well, you are sort of a generic soldier, aren't you? Oh crap, there's a fighter there. He could seriously own me, actually. That's fine, because I have a fucking Brave Lance. It's fine. Ouch, this could be bad. No, it actually doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Uh, it's, it may still be bad, though. Oh, balls. This ain't good. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, you see, this is, this is kind of bad. Oops, stupid cat. Um, yeah, uh, crap. Well, I'm just brave lancing my way through these issues. And soon we're gonna have a ding for it. Well, I'm having a feeling I shouldn't give experience to Kevin. Uh. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is the most nervous victory cry I've ever done. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay. So I'm gonna go visit the village with Kevin, I guess. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh, wow. She was hot. Ah, I'm finally at a good angel angle, angle to approach this. Going around to avoid the castle sure wasn't fun, but oh well. Hmm. So I just have to keep an eye on these guys, huh? Well, I won't pretend to know what Kellogg's thinking, but there's no ha backing out. And I have no intention of letting these people's effort go to waste either. 
so I'll support them in any way I can. My god, she was beautiful. Take a little look at her. Karina, that's such a nice name as well. Wow! Okay, she's pretty good. I love her already. A skilled flyer of grace, virtue and optimism, selfless and caring. Ah, oh, just my kind of girl! Oh my god, I love her so much already. I want to marry her. No, but actually, no, I'm betrothed to Amy, so I shouldn't... I shouldn't say this. People could get the wrong idea. Okay, does Ace have a vulnerary on him? Because if not, he's going to use it right now. Uh, maybe we can use a lightning tome on this guy? Yeah, it works. Down you go. Alright, I think Eduardo should get his chance to kill this guy. Oh, really? Well, okay, we can soften him up with Kevin then. Kapow! And then we need to go and heal up on the forts, I think. Unless there's reinforcements, which there might be. Oh, that was actually a little bit of a gamble on my part. I could have easily missed them on that. Okay, Eduardo is now level 3. Hit points, strength, skill. Okay. I'm fine with that. So I'm guessing I can't reach him now. The, sorry, reach her, the Pegasus. But that's complete. Oh, hello! So I can reach her. Hey, you just stole my experience, girl. Well, you better not go and, not go and kill the boss. I'm gonna go recruit you. Hey, I'm Karina. You're Anakin, right? Huh? Yeah, I am. Well, I'm not allowed to speak of the details yet, just yet. But I'm kind on orders to spend some time with you guys. I mean, like, help you with your fights and all. I realize it's kind of a mysterious, but don't mind me, alright? Uh-huh. I suppose I shouldn't refuse help. I'd be looking for someone so desperately. Can I retrust you, though? Yeah, for sure! The guy who sent me here is really trustworthy. Oh wait, are you talking about Kellick? He just wants me to watch over you guys and see what you're up to. I mean, I could just spy on you from above, but I'll be fighting with you instead. So it's not like I'm doing anything bad. Well, that much is true. When you put it that way. I guess you're moving in mystery, man, thanks to some point, eh? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that if I were you, Anakin. He's not really one to take the words thank you very well. But anyway, let's do this. Well, that's because he's a fucking douchey. That's why. Okay, so hey, Mr. Wow, she is really overpowered for this. But I'm still gonna use her because she's fucking hot. Okay. This village was formed just a little time before Magnus invaded. We've yet to live in peace. Please help us because we can't help ourselves. If it helps you, take this gem. It was given as a gift by Count Brace when this village was first formed. Back then it served as a symbol of new life. Please, let it help renew the prosperity of this land once more. Hey, a blue gem? Well, I could buy some new stuff. Thank you. Sure. Well, Miss Drace, let's heal up for another turn before we go kill the... Maybe we can talk to him or something. I don't know, I get a feeling I shouldn't kill this guy. Oh, a blue gem, that's worth 5,000. That's gonna help us out. Um, I kind of feel like I want, sorry, I want Eduardo to get the sword, and uh, do you have everything you need, miss? I do believe she does. Yeah, I do believe we have everything we need. Let's go speak to this other house, don't speak to the house, I'm such an idiot. Alright, looks like nobody's here. Really? Okay, that means I have to go with everyone to check. Looks like nobody's here. Y you just know that there is an event in this house when they do some, some stupid shit like that. How about you, Ace? Looks like nobody is here. I know someone's there. I know there's some... The Kevin probably has an event flag right there. I just know it. You don't fool me. And by the way, the supports were supposed to be available now, I'm just saying. Oh, can they... No, they can't talk. Okay, how about Kevin then? I know there's something up with this house. Nope. Okay, I guess I'm, I guess I'm just fooled then. But I'm gonna go talk to the man before I kill him. 
Maybe he knows something. Since the house hinted that I shouldn't be killing him or something. Can you talk to him? Nope. Alright then, let's see Anakin, maybe he can talk? Nope. Can you talk? Nope. Can you talk? Nope. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm just supposed to kill him then. Fine. Oh! The generic spare is effective against generic soldiers! I should have known. How about uh, the generic spare is not effective against Anakin though? You must be the speaker. This is your last chance. Stand down! I don't want to fight someone unarmed. Who says I'm an arm? A speaker that can wield magic? It's a hobby of mine. Very well done. Come. Yeah! Well, then we're just gonna own you with Miss Redhead here. Hehehe, <laughs> watch as I rise to power. Oh, right. I forgot to turn on animations for her. Only in my defeat do I see the assault of greed. My wife, my child. I regret! <laughs> this skirmish is lost. I surrender. Finish me! You're a good man. You don't need to die. All I need you to do is tell me something. Why has Magnus be begun taking over Solon? Come on, speak up! Be quiet, Ace. Let the man tell us when he's ready. Show some respect. Anakin, he's our enemy! He could betray us at any minutes! He's no threat to us without his weapon. Now, could you please answer my question? Our king wanted more power. He believes that Solomon is his, is his, is his right. No, his destiny to own. We were for sent here to fulfill his destiny. Now, please, you must kill me. I have dishonored my knighthood. What a simple, selfish reason to turn the world into a state of chaos. You're free to go. Return to Magnus if you wish. I don't care. And I will stay alone until I am forgiven. Perhaps the Galia can make use of me. I give up on this war. My enemy, thank you for sparing my life. So this is approaching, Anakin. What's your step? Huh? Blonde hair. Odd getup. Excuse me, sir, but are you called Anakin, correct? Uh, yeah. Anakin's my name. Who are you? What is your business here? My name is Logan. I sometimes take on the position of a mercenary, however, I can never seem to find proper work. Since I know kind of detest the stuffy nobles who typically offer to pay, some has taken to call me a wandering swordsman, but uh, pay that no mind. I'd like to join your group, but as a rebel, not a mercenary. I'll be happy to have another soldier. How are you must No wait, that's the wrong voice. <laughs> How are you must prove your loyalty in battle before we can fully trust you. I figure you understand, right? <laughs> yeah, I like your style, Anakin. I'm anxious to meet on the battlefield. <laughs> well then, excuse me, we need to prepare to head to Alexia. Is that so? Hmm, I know you're an easy route to Alexia, which can save a great deal of time. I can lead the way. Alright, Logan. Sounds like an idea. We're depending on you. Anakin! Are you sure it's alright to trust him so quickly? He could be leading us- Oh, is, is it, it's a guy? <laughs> there was a girl! I guess you have a point, but... Oh! Oh! Trust in Logan, yes or no? What should I pick? I have a feeling that I should pick yes. Oh, okay, why do you make me do this? I, I, I kind of have a feeling like I get something special if I say no. Or if I press yes, I might get a side chapter. Oh, this is so difficult! This is so difficult! Oh! And I'd like to ask you guys for help here, but the thing is, I'm four episodes ahead of uploading, which means that if I am to end this part here with a question, I'm gonna have to wait a very long time before I can play another chapter. You see, I usually, I usually um, play uh, like a lot of episodes at once. Like, in a day, I can make like five or six episodes, and then I upload them each day. Uh, you know, five days ahead. As to not, I don't want to spam your guys' inbox, so I like to upload just one video of each Let's Play every day. Or maybe two. But I'm having a feeling like this is not just a simple question. I have a feeling that there's going to be a big difference whether I say yes or no. Like in, like, accept side quest? Yes or no. That would be a simple request, but I have a feeling that, ah, uh, I don't know what to pick here. And I kind of want to ask you guys for advice, but that means I can't play for like four days. Because I have to wait for the episodes to catch up. Oh, what should I do? 
Oh, what should I do? I don't know. Um, I'm guessing I'll just ask you guys. And I'll just not play for four days, I guess. Because I really, really, really want to know what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna upload three episodes a day. To catch up. And I'm gonna ask you guys for help. Okay, should I trust in Logan? Or should I not trust in Logan? The fate of this Let's Play is in your hands. Hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Mengs. And I'll see you next time.